Got him. Wow, dude, did that fish ever charge way up the graph, huh? <laughs> dude, oh my gosh, man, have you ever seen anything like this? What is going on guys? We are back on another chilly, windy North Dakota day out here. I don't know if it's like a fog or like blowing snow or what's going on. It's actually not really that cold out. It's just really windy. The winds out here in North South Dakota, always ripping. And that's just kind of how it is, but uh, we're here to deal with it. Last video you guys saw, put on an absolute clinic on some evening primetime walleyes. Hope to kind of do some more of the same today. Fished for a lot of the day, um, caught a, quite a few fish, just didn't like piece together like the exact thing, which I was hoping for, but we got more time to play around. And after last night, I kind of knew, I was like, all right, we got a pretty solid evening bite happening on probably a lot of different pieces of structure all over this lake and some real shallow stuff. So just kind of got everything set up inside, getting the cameras thawed out, getting some rods tied up, and we're hoping to hammer on some evening walleyes out here in shallow water. We're sitting in even shallower than yesterday. We're in like five or six feet of water tonight. And uh, I have no doubt that probably some amount of walleyes will kind of come in here. So stay tuned. We're gonna get the cameras thawed, get things rocking and rolling inside, and uh, hopefully jig a whole bunch of primetime walleyes out here in North Dakota. And hopefully maybe a, a big fish or two will show up in the mix. We'll see. So stay tuned. Let's get it going on. Let's jump in the otter, start jigging, hopefully start seeing some fish. Getting rocking and rolling here. We got two jig rods. I might even like double fist them when it starts getting crazy in here, which it hopefully does. Two jig rods, basically the same bait on them. Acme Hyper Hammers. Fished it a little bit last night and uh, gonna fish it a bunch more tonight. At least give it a go and see if they want it here. And uh, it's kind of an interesting bait as it has a kind of a soft tail section to your normal glide bait. And then fishing kind of a green one here. It's got the flexible rotating tail if you want, otherwise you can just kind of keep it stationary like that. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice shallow art tool because it's a lot lighter than some of the other tail baits in this category. And then the other one I'm just fishing, I had to fish at least one that was like a purple color. So here we got a purple colored one right there. So that's what we're rocking and rolling with. I might double fist these and just kind of go like this and really try to get them all excited. We'll just kind of see how it goes. Otherwise we might just start out with a dead stick, get our bearings and then start double fisting two hyper hammers. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Dude, he came and bit it right off the bottom. That fish was hanging around for quite a while. Nice walleye. <laughs> so there we go. Getting it rolling. Dude, that fish was down there for so long. It was ridiculous. Unbelievable. He just kept going back and forth from the dead stick and then over to the to the jig again and then back over to that. SD card error. What does that even mean? Not sure, but first one on the hyper hammer hammering on some evening walleyes is kind of what we hope we're doing today and uh there we go number one not even close to dark out yet we'll take it that little guy absolutely fired up and smoked that thing right on the bottom and i was jigging it right on the bottom and all of a sudden my line just went completely slack that's that fish grabbing it right off the bottom he didn't want anything else so i just put it right in the sand started pounding it there and he smoked it there we go so let him go do it again. See you later, buddy. Angry, angry number one. I'm fishing that, that solid green color of Hyper Hammer. I kind of like we showed you guys. That's the deal, right there. Simple as can be, popping it, snapping it. And uh, that one ate it right off the bottom, so let's do it again. And if I can catch fish with no bait on this all night, 
I'll be a happy guy. Tonight we got the Hummingbird Mega Live going. So you guys will be able to watch that go on, um, which is always cool. Gives you guys generally a little bit better look at kind of what's going on down there. So you can kind of see the fish obviously moving around. You can see the dead stick. You can see this all in the same shot. It's a little bit more interactive for you guys. So um, yeah, and the Hummingbird Live has been an incredible tool, obviously. All these forward-facing sonars are obviously changing fishing. Obviously my favorite part about the Hummingbird is I'm so familiar with the interface and I can keep my lake master mapping right on there which in my opinion is some of the best best mapping you can have in the midwest there's just a lot of pluses to having running the hummingbird mega live system for me so we will keep our eyes peeled on it tonight and i'm sure you guys will see some walleyes flying up the graph got him wow dude did that fish ever charge way up the graph huh Nice, gonna be a really nice walleye. Whoa, 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 dude. He was not messing around with that hyper hammer. <laughs> That's a nice fish right there. That one just full on gave her. He shot up that first time and kind of missed, and he shot up again. Did not miss. That is a super nice walleye right there. Yeah, we'll take him like that, dude. How about that? We're running a new lighting system tonight. You guys are probably sick of me asking, what do you guys think of the lights? What do you guys think of the lights in here? We're going for a little softer, a little softer lighting today, but dude, good as it gets right there, huh? Nowhere near dark right now. We're already thumping nice walleyes. Two of them on the hyper hammer, just committing suicide on that thing. There we go. And they're liking that green for sure, huh? Let's let that guy go. See you later, dude. Favorite part about jigging these shallow water walleyes is how angry they are. They pull so hard, man. And uh, yeah, that was just a textbook deal right there. We're fishing, like I said, that small hyper hammer. I'll go ahead and link this one down below because I know you guys are always asking questions or if you guys want to pick up any. My favorite parts about this, how strong that back hook is for a little compact bait oversized hooks on it fish is a little bit lighter than kind of a standard tail bait so it's nice and shallow water because it's just a little bit glidier it takes a little bit less to make the bait work flexible tail big strong hook you don't lose them on this very often Sometimes you just put a new one on, drop it down to them, and it's like they'll gauge in on it right off the bat. Yep. Did it work? Oh yeah, definitely worked. Question is, is it a little guy or a decent one? The old minnow swap worked. Feeling all right. Where you at, buddy? Where you at? Not too big, not too small. 14 incher. The old minnow swap worked. Take the old minnow off, put the new one on. Boom, fish on right away. We'll see if we can get our minnow back out of that one. Good eater if you wanted to ice one, but we're just going to let them go. <laughs> that was funny. That fish was probably playing around for a while down there. The minnow, you could just tell he wasn't super lively. There's always something about when a minnow's like falling down. That's almost like they like key on it. As that thing comes and falls down, you can imagine it just kind of doing that slow kick. And they absolutely love that for sure. Another one down there already. I don't think he got it though.
got him. <laughs> right there, dude. Did you guys see that? Nice fish, too. Nice walleye. <laughs> I literally just let that last one go and got another one on. And when they're eating that bait like that, you know they want it, man. That is what I'm talking about right there. And look at all, dude, just, it, this is, this is where it starts getting just absolutely ridiculous. This is the time of night when it's absolutely going to start getting out of control here. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, as predicted. There's a nice fish. We'll see if we can get a one-man double here. That one dropped it. Wow, I'm surprised that one dropped it. I guess we're just going to have to be happy with a single... Oh my gosh, dude. Did you guys see that fish come up and grab that? Did he get it or no? Watch this fish. He's going to come back. I'm like jigging the dead stick right now. <laughs> oh, he's much smaller, much smaller. Still a double though. And that is the cool part about live, being able to watch them just kind of all go around like that down there. That is too up funny, man. Doubling up. I don't know if this counts as a double because one's so small, but we'll take it. Little guy, we'll get him back. Good walleye right there. Oh, he's all sorts of angry. We'll give him a look, you guys, quick. They're so fat and healthy out here, man. Unbelievable. Look at that guy. Let's let him go. There you go. Should we go to the double? Should we go to the double jig presentation? Or does that just sound too intense? I think we can give it a try because they are absolutely, so far, this is out fishing everything else, the hyper hammer. So maybe we'll go two hyper hammers and see if I can keep it together in here or if it just gets absolutely out of control with not knowing <laughs> what's going on in the graph. Got him right there. The fish on. <laughs> First one doing the two rod challenge right there. Not a big one, 15 incher. And dude, look how he ate that bait. Ridiculous. Man, dude, they are all over that hyper hammer tonight. We'll get them popped off if we can. Might even need a pliers. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Get your popped off. Oh, there we go. Just got it. <laughs> so far, the green one is the favorite. Should we try to keep score on which one they like more? The green one or the purple one? I'll let him go. He kind of hung around a while, started moving left, then moving right. Whichever way he turned, he had a hyper hammer in his face, so he was in trouble. But there we go. It's like the third or fourth one already on that. They've hardly been fishing, I feel like. That one just got hit. Can we double up? Dead stick just got rocked. Dude, there are so many. Watch this. How did he miss it? That one missed it. Come on, charge back up. Well, we'll catch this one on the dead stick. <laughs> Look at this dude, catching them right out of the rod holder. Seems like it's all right fish. Oh yeah, it's actually a really nice one. <laughs> this is out of control right now, man. Out of control. You think one of these other ones will go? We're just gonna give it like one more second here. We're getting real greedy. Dude, this is ridiculous. How many fish are down there right now? Absolutely ridiculous. Look at that nice fish right there. Oh man, I feel like he's trying to center on it there. All right, we just gotta get this one unhooked. Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> dude, oh my gosh, man, have you ever seen anything like this? Have you ever seen anything like this? <laughs> Look at that. Oh man, doubled up on nice walleyes. On a jig rod and the hyper hammer. How are you going to beat it? Which one do we want to mess with first here? Let's get the dead stick out. 
This is out of control, man. Absolutely out of control. And look how, even how they're eating that hyper hammer. Dude, it's out of sight. It's like literally gone. Where's my players at? I definitely am going to need my players tonight. Two at a time. Insane, dude. Absolutely insane how many fish these nice kind of 15, 16, 17, 18 inches are just running around rampant down there. Crazy. Double. That doesn't happen every day. We'll let those guys go. They're fighting each other out of the hole. <laughs> Be gone, buddy. Be gone. There we go. Doesn't get much better than that. I'm not going to talk too much, though, because obviously you guys can see there's just a mountain of fish down there. And they're throttling baits right now. So let's send her back down. Right there. Seems like they're kind of slowing down a little bit from the crazy jigging two fish. Oh, that's feeling right though. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, nice walleye, nice walleye here. Oh, there we go, dude. On the dead stick. Always so worth it to run that extra line so incredibly worth it the rod that you do it on crucial i think i probably say that every dead sticking video but rod with a very soft springy tip because a lot of times that is your bite detector i always get asked do you fish bait feeder reels no i have tried them they do have a good niche but um, it works just fine like this you can fish it just with a closed drag or a closed bail and uh, just watch that tip just load up and a lot of times those fish just kind of hook themselves and there's just a nice chunky oh, I'd say 18 19 entry right there up in some super skinny water well I believe that is kind of it for the night I'm sure we could sit out here and catch a bunch more but I am absolutely tanked I'm exhausted I'm hungry I'm thirsty and I need to sleep so we're gonna pull off of here and uh, get back to the hotel check-in maybe do a little bit of editing tonight we'll see how I feel after food and some liquids in my system and uh, go from there but another fun night in the shack out here in north dakota catching a whole pile of fish i don't know how you can be upset about it i think tomorrow we're going to film a daytime thing showing a different location and all that kind of stuff um so stay tuned for that i think if i got the stamina to keep going this this rate but i uh, appreciate you guys watching this video huge shout out to everybody buying and ordering um, contour fish and clothing co merch we greatly appreciate it huge thank you to all the positive feedback on the walleye now app it's just fun doing all these little projects and um, having all you you know you guys awesome feedback coming back my way so i greatly appreciate you guys following along and uh it means a lot to me that you guys give me the ability to go do what i do every single day and uh so i thank you guys for that but appreciate you guys watching this one i'm gonna break this stuff down get out of here it's been another fun night in north dakota stay tuned for more content we'll see you guys next time